good morning. Well, it's such a pleasure to be here and it's drizzling outside and I would say this greenhouse we're sitting in, me and Mr. Grumpy. Good morning. Good morning. Hang on. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. So, uh, it's testament to his skills as it is <coughs> completely watertight. It's not leaking anywhere. And the only water here at the moment is the boiled water for our first ever allotment tea. And coffee, as um, Nigel really doesn't, it's not a um, great lover of tea. So, well, it's a momentous moment for us because so far all our allotment life was around just coming and doing things and uh, maybe sitting for five, ten minutes and going home. But this is gonna, ch I have a feeling, is gonna change. Oh, look, I brought a coffee with us and milk. We absolutely set up. So what's next? Growing biscuits. Oh, okay. We will try to grow biscuits. Oh yes, we've terribly failed. With, with, uh, we haven't got any spoons here or any container for, well, they can go on a compost, but need something to be able to put it in. Uh, first the tea bags and coffee grinds. So that's a couple of things to still find to be complete success. Well, let me take you on the greenhouse tour. It will be fairly quick, I'm sure. Um, so what we've got here, I, I actually bought this fantastic uh, large tray. I think this is, I don't know, three, four feet, um, four feet long and two feet wide. It fits perfectly on these benches if you didn't want your metal shelves to rust or you know wanted to water it better these shelves actually are reversible so you could put uh, potentially put gravel there i originally bought the plastic tray for uh, the lower level of the staging but without dismantling some of it we won't be able to to put it in it's just that sort of awkward shape as as the staging's got these uh, supports which do not allow to slide it in at the moment uh, so what we've got in these four trays some of it is quite a mystery to me as well so i have a feeling well these are onions and at some point these will be transplanted to beds um, these are the Japanese um, um, yellow onions and I've got some uh, spring onion seeds which germinated here they're still germinating I can't remember what I planted there and there is no label in here I sowed some sorrel but there is no germination on that there is some germination on cornflower uh, and very little on the amis because this is also you know completely in a crazy time of the year uh, let me see what is that oh there's some coriander here coriander i've got no idea what is that and if i remember some of it might be a beetroot and some of it might be um um, Swiss chard, I've no idea. Well, it will it will be revealed once it grows, I'm sure. Then the salvias, which surviving really, really well. I have some lovely, lovely salvias and they're doing fine. I'm overwintering most of my peppers um, and chilies. 
uh, underneath and they have been cut down to size to get rid of all the bits which were showing a sign of some sort of fungal disease. Um, and at the moment they fine. I'm going to be monitoring them sort of weekly and cutting them down. Who knows, some of them might overwinter. Uh, in the meantime, I will actually sow some more seeds just in case. I've got a few more plants here. These are just too big to be put on those shelves underneath. I need some working space. Uh, we see if any of these sweet peas are going to survive. The broad beans is here. I um, There's no germination on it as yet, but they were only sown about six days ago, so no wonder. I brought the, some seeds with me just to really remind me what I'm going to be sowing soon. Um, and since we had quite a bit of success with the carrots, um, which were sown quite uh, well last year, um, and surprisingly, they actually gave us harvest for Christmas. I'm gonna sow um, in one of those big buckets, the same buckets I harvested recently, these carrots, which are called Charisma, and they are F1 um, hybrid, and they did really quite well. They're not massive, they're just perfect size um, um, for what I actually need. I will also put uh, a bucket of these Autumn King and we will bring them here. So obviously I can see that everything here is reasonably thriving reasonably well. We use a little a paraffin heater here just to keep off the... Um, and, and I'm hoping they're going to germinate whenever they're ready. So I'm going to do, definitely going to do these. I'm going to uh, put cup, some cauliflowers uh, seeds down. Um, this one is called Snowball and it, it was a little bit uh, uh, germinated a little bit better for me than the all year round but I'm going to do both of them again to give it a second chance see how that actually works. So um, so that's something which I'm going to do in a little in those little trays I have. These were donated by a neighbor and they are um, sort of 50 cells um, and I'm just going to oh, I really want probably 10 of each to see if um, if the, we, we have any germination on them then I definitely want to do some mixed tray and sow them here of um, mixed, mixed mustards and mizunas um, great success last year with them uh, and uh, what I've got here uh, red giant mustard, mustard wasabi, mustard mizuna red streaked, mustard oriental ruby streaked and red streaked again. So just mix them up, put them in one of those little, uh, sorry not little, one of those big trays I got from um, uh, Wilco and um, Hopefully we'll get some harvest of that. Um, we had a little break with salads because we, we had so much salad last year. Um, but I think I'm ready now to restart my salad um, uh, journey. So the next one I've got here, come and cut again, Valmain. I'm going to put mix that uh, in a separate one for separate sort of, um, for, for, for being a sort of, planted separately later on in spring. Ro Lolo Rosa. This is like another Valmain, another Lolo Rosa. I've got some Mazur. That was excellent salad. Um, Gormelus salad mix. And this one is salad bowl mixed. And this one is red and green uh, salad bowl mix. So I'll have I'll definitely start some of these and let's see what's going to happen. They should be all right. Um, I also have some pak choy seeds, so I might sow these. Um, and corn lamb lettuce, I probably mix it up with the, with the rest. 
Now, as for sweet peppers, well, I'm hoping that chilies and peppers, some will overwinter. <coughs> but just in case, I'm just going to make a tiniest of, of um, you know, sort of sewing of uh, California Wonder Yellow Ringo. If you can recommend something which had a great success, or good success for you, please do, because I need to maybe source a couple more. I'm a little bit sparse on the on the um, uh, pepper uh, side um, I had one which is citrina which I don't have any seeds but I'm overwintering hoping that something will actually survive winter I also loved uh, as far as chilies goes I loved jalapenos and I'm overwintering some we had I really loved them great success lots of uh, jars of uh, of pickled jalapenos for pizzas and you know as a condiment to lots of things but I'm will so a little bit just in case whether they don't overwinter uh, chili habanero uh, tabasco um, but jolokia I have no idea what that one is and scotch bonnet I think some of them came as a present and I just decided to have a little bit of everything to on my journey to discover which chilies I actually like. We did quite well with um, Hungarian hot wax, but I still have so much of them frozen that I won't be planting them this year. So um, other things I will be looking at shortly is onions and leeks um, and we had lovely leeks seedlings. I have never yet grown um, uh, onions from um, seeds. So this is going to be first time for me to grow onions from seeds and I will uh, shortly um, make a decision what I'm going to do about that. I really want to give it a go. Uh, the sets did quite well, not all of them uh, kept well. So. Uh, there's two things I could do. Uh, I could try varieties which keep better, which I would like to try that. And also, once I have a harvest, there is absolutely no stopping me, I think, of processing them and freezing them and putting them in a freezer already sort of diced or sliced. The other thing I want to share with you uh, is I went last uh, week um, I had to go to the office uh, which is located in Oxford and um, out of curiosity and perhaps lack of entertainment I've decided to uh, do a little detour and uh, pop to um, Wilco which is nearby and I have to say it's been an eye-opener. I brought, bought some potatoes, some shallots and um, I'm going to serve some other potatoes which they actually didn't have in stock at the time. But it's eye-opening at the prices I pay for some things which were there twice or three times as much money. Um, well, I have bought a few, few things from Wilco online, but I am a convert. And I know I was a bit naive, um, um, but sometimes actually it's uh, worth to do that five minutes detour to find a great bargain. I am... I absolutely love popping occasionally to Lidl and getting my seeds and things. Are they really good quality? I'm surprised how good they are. And the seedlings I've used a couple of times from them and they were really good quality too. So uh, perhaps they not the uh, always variety we want and so on and so forth, but you know, good for them. I definitely, I'm definitely will be a customer so um, <laughs> that's just by the by. Um, we get uh, different experiences in life all the time. And as a fairly new to sort of having allotment and, and fairly large allotment at that, uh, every day is a learning day. Uh, so please do put some comments in and let us know what you think and uh, some f helpful advice as well, because that's what it is all about, about exchange of information. And I watch enormous amount of um, um, fellow YouTubers videos because they are very informative and is my favorite pastime. It's my, as we call it at home, my garden porn. So um, 
uh, that's what I uh, um, watch for excitement in life. <laughs> anyway, guys. Um. And from our cold, damp, wet <laughs> allotment in the field, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from me. See you next week, hopefully. Please remember to let us know about your ch or about your peppers, and if you like the if you like the video, and you have any comments, that'd be greatly appreciated. Bye for now. Bye.